Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kordash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to get into a lesson uh, going into this article, uh, you know, pretty much <laughs> displaying the blasphemies, okay, of the devil that the Bible speaks of whom is none other than Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. You know, this man is showing himself on all levels. You know, and the scripture says there will be a time where he's revealed in 2 Thessalonians, the second chapter. You see, and, and this man's clearly displaying <laughs> uh, his true colors, man. That he is the son of perdition. You know, and while you so-called Negroes, Latinos... And then if Americans are out here playing around, right, caught up in in uh, the holidays of this man's of this man's kingdom, right? You getting ready for Christmas, right? And then New Year's. And while you caught up in all that and all that dogma and all that mess, right? This man is setting up his fourth industrial revolution right under your nose, man. Okay. Where this place is going to be uh, <laughs> under the vibration of a technocracy, okay? The majority of you people are going to be turned into cyborgs, all right? And the foundation of the laws of the land are going to be draconian, man. Okay, and this is going to happen right under you people's noses, man. Why? Because you're caught up in the distractions of this world. So you're going to get caught blindsided, man. Because here it is in this article that we're going to get into, Lord willing. I mean, if, if this man is not the devil that the Bible speaks of, who is? Like Job 9 24 says, if not him, who is he? <laughs> you see? It's pursuing to the, as far as, let's, let's open up with that. As far as the wicked is concerned. The book of Job chapter 9. And verse 24, and it reads... The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Who gave it? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Daniel, the fourth chapter. Right? He, he covereth the faces of the judges thereof. Right? He covered up the face of the Hamashiach. Right? The, the, the highest power conceivable, Yahweh. Right? The saints. Right? And then, he, and then this man turned around and and hijacked uh, our heritage, man. And now he's in our land saying that he's us. And setting up unrighteous decrees if we claim that we're, that we're who we are, man, which are the Hebrew Israelites. <laughs> you see? The blasphemy of this devil. Right? And now he's saying, in, in the article we're going to get into, now he's saying what? God is dead. Hey, this man's going to pay for these things. Let's continue on. If not, where and who is he right? Who else has done these things? Who else is thrusting a white Jesus throughout all four corners of the earth? Okay. Who else pumped out a slave Bible during the time of cattle slavery? Okay. It was none other than Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Okay, he is the wicked. Okay, that the Bible speaks of. And now this man saying <laughs> that the highest power conceivable is dead, man. This man's a damn fool. Let's get the book of Psalms. Chapter 14 and verse 1. And it reads, right, to the chief musician of Psalm of David, our beloved king. The fool had said in his heart, right, in his mind. That word heart in the Hebrew is lab, which means your mind. 
right? The fool hath said in his heart, there is no God. You see? And we know this fool is none other than Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Because pursuing the Job, what's that, Job, the 30th chapter, it goes into it, man. Okay? Matter of fact, we're going to get that. Let me continue on. They are corrupt, right? They're corrupt in all, in all shapes, forms, and in, in our <laughs> ways, man. And when you get that word corrupt, bear with me. Corrupt. All right. Let's get the adjective, right? Having or showing a willingness to act dishonestly in return for money or personal gain, right? <laughs> this man operates through his banking system through usury, man. Okay, he operates through usury, man. He charges you interest when you borrow money from a man. Hey, that's 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 unrighteous, man. That's wicked. You see, he's dishonest, dishonorable, right? Untrustworthy, right? Hey, deceitful. You see, scandalous, shameful, double dealing. You see, hey, this man's a thief, a vagabond. You see, fraudulent, lawless. This man is clearly lawless. They're corrupt, man. Hey, dirty, low down. Job said he wouldn't even sell him by his dogs, man. Let's get a little more. Let's get the verb, right? Cause to act dishonestly in return for money or personal gain, right? This man is covetous, man. And scripture says there's nothing more covetous. There's nothing more wicked than a covetous man. And this man is covetous. Let's get some similar words. Bribe. Yeah, we know he takes bribes. Right? Square. <laughs> right? Let's get, let's get the other um, definition. Change or debase by making errors or unintentional alterations. Right? This damn devil's done that throughout the time of the Renaissance period, man. When these devils came up out the pit. Oh, they committing iconoclasm, knocking noses off of statues, painting over pictures, destroying relics. Okay? Manipulating history, man. Let's see. Let's get some similar words. Alter, falsify, right? Manipulate. Right, this man, this man done contorted <laughs> uh, the history, man. Giving these nations, uh, 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 um, the calling these nations by other names to try to hide their to try to hide their biblical identity. Why? Because that would hone in on his identity, which is Esau. See, With that we them found out through the Spirit, the Holy Spirit revealed it to us, man. See, this man done been found out, and this is why he wants to do away with the God of the Bible, man. This is why he wants to do it with the Bible altogether because it's no longer working in, in his in his uh, favor. So he's in a position where he has to do away with it. See, the Bible is alive and well. The spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha is dwelling in, in, within the Bible, man. And once those of the elect catch wind. Of that, of that, of that gospel, of that, of that proper doctrine, hey, they're gonna wake up, and this man understands this. He understands that he's at his end, based off the awakening of Israel, our so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. This man knows these things. This is not a surprise to him. As far as these one percenters, man, these regular Joe six pack Edomites don't don't quite know what's going on. Hey, but the upper enchilants do, and this is why they're speaking with the type of energy they're speaking with. In this article, we're gonna get into Lord willing. Let's get some of these other similar words: doctor, distort, right, uh, 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 adulterate, bastardize, dilute, contaminate, right. Speaking about dilute, this man diluted things given. 
made Thanksgiving seem like a time you just get together with the family, have dinner, eat until the zipper busts open. It's right, sit around the table and talk shit, have a good time and chuckle, chuckle, laugh, laugh. No. Thanksgiving consi- consisted of the bloodshed, of the massacre, okay, of our people, man. Okay, the, the Gadites, man, the tribal guide. Right here, up here, up, up in Connecticut, man. The Mystic Massacre, man. Look it up. It happened throughout the time of the 1600s. These devils were celebrating that. They were celebrating that. They were celebrating the massacre, okay, of uh, the Pequot tribe, man. And this is what you people join yourself to. Okay, but this is what this man has done. Okay, fiddle. Yeah, this man's a complete corrupted demon. Let's go back to the scriptures. But he's being found out. He's being searched out and found out through the Holy Spirit. Let's continue on. They have done abominable works, right? We just got into a few of them. Let's get into a few more, right? Tulsa, Oklahoma. He bombed on it. He bombed on our people. Wounded Knee Massacre. Devil's Punch Bowl. The Transatlantic Atlantic Slave Trade. This thing goes on. Trail of Tears. This thing goes on and on. And guess what? All those are vanilla folders, man. Okay, all those are vanilla folders for your court date, man. Because court is truly in session. And the this, this spirit, okay, is making inquisition against you, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is making inquisition against you, man. All right, a thorough investigation is being made against you. And you're being found out for all of your... Uh, Atrocities you you've committed, man. Hey, you're not gonna be able to sweep these under the rug. No. You're gonna continue to be interrogated, okay? And all of your ill dealings, all of your um, unrighteous dealings, right? All your riches gotten by deceit. Hey, it's gonna be put out there on Front Street, man. Okay, and the men of the Lord are going to do that, starting with the elders, of, elders and apostles of the great millstone on down to us like-minded men. All right, that the Lord has put his spirit on, man. Because right after this, guess what? Yahweh Shai is going to come, come judge you, man. Okay, we're declaring your way to your face, man. And Yahweh Shai is going to repay you for what you have done, pursuing the Job, the 21st chapter. Lord willing, we'll get that, right? They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. No, not one. No, not one. And you are some fools. Let's get that in Job. You are those fools, man. Let's prove it. Job 30. Let's just get some precepts before we get into this article, right? Pinpoint and target this demon, man. The book of the book of Job, chapter thirty. Uh, let me start. Um, uh, I'll start at verse five. Right, verse eight is the point. The book of Job, chapter thirty, and verse five, and it reads: They were driven forth from among men. They cried after them as after a thief. To dwell in the cliffs of the valleys, in caves of the earth, and in the rocks. This is talking about Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Okay, because when you go to Obadiah, which is the, uh, the whole book dedicated to this damn devil, what's it say? Let's just let's just get this real quick, so we can make this point. Prove all things, right? The book of Obadiah. 
Verse 3 is the point. I'm going to start from verse 1 though. The book of Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 1 and it reads. The book of Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 1 and it reads. The vision of Obadiah. Right? And the vision is what? Prophecy. Thus saith the Lord power concerning Edom. Pursuing a, um, Genesis the 36th chapter. Esau is Edom. Okay? The so-called white man. We have heard a rumor from the Lord and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye and let us rise up against her in battle. And the beloved elder just went live. Right? Continuing on. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. And you're being despised in these latter times, man. Okay, you're not being held at high esteem. These nations have a disdain for you, man. You see, you think, you think, uh, <laughs> you think, uh, them Japs forgot about what you did back in the day? Uh, when you dropped, uh, <laughs> when you, when you pursued, uh, um, to bomb them, man? What was it, Hiroshima and Nagasaki? And Hiroshima and Nagasaki? You think they forgot about that? They didn't forget. Nobody forgot. All right? This is why these nations are coming at you with the energy they're coming at you with. Okay? Because you're being, you're greatly despised now, man. They've seen how you handled the tribes. Out here in America, man, they seen it. Hey, because the unicorn testified against you, man. <laughs> you see? The internet. Let's continue on. The pride of thine heart have deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rock. You see, your pride has deceived you, man. And what scripture say? Pride goeth before destruction. And a haughty spirit before a fall. So it's not a surprise that you're being proud in this article we're going to get. Okay? Because this just gives credence to the fact that Yahweh Shai is on his way. This is all it does. It proves it. Right? The pride of thine heart has deceived thee. You're deceived. Hey, you so through, you believe your own lies. Let's continue on. Thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rock, right? You dwell where? You dwell in, in, in uh, Mount Seir, right? In Petra. Dwelling in the cliffs of the rock, through. <laughs> That's how you were communicating, man. <laughs> and we're going to prove that when we go back to Job 30. You were out of there, man. <laughs> a cave dwelling, knuckle dragon gorilla, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai set you on high, man. Hey, that's a marvel, man. There must be a higher power, right? <laughs> and I'm being sarcastic because we know there is. And there's only one, okay? And his only begotten son, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Point blank, period. Who's, let's continue on. Whose habitation is high. Right. This is why we have these. Hey. Do your research. Right. The first skyscraper was in Chicago. Who built it? Edomites. And Edomite was behind that. That saith in his heart. Who shall bring me down to the ground. And that's that pride. But guess what? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to bring you all the way down. Matter of fact. You're going to have to sit in the dust because there ain't going to be no throne. You're going to be waxed in confusion, man. You're going to be brought down to a destitute state. Okay? You're going to be brought down to a destitute state. Back in Job chapter 30 and verse 6 again. Let me read verse 5 again. They were driven forth from among men. They cried after them as after a thief to dwell in the cliffs of the valleys, in the ca in caves of the earth and in the rocks. And we just proved that's talking about Esau. 
pursuing the Obadiah. In history, man. History testifies this against this. Why do you think you, they, we, they call him what? Caucasian, right? What's that mean? Caucasian means cave dweller. See? It's Esau, Edom, the red man, right? Among the bushes, they braid. And when you get that word braid, right? Let's go to the blue letter real quick. The book of Job, chapter 30. Oh, Salakia, I'm in the NIV. Forgive me. Strong's age, 5101. Nahak. Nahak. Okay. And go to biblical usage. It says what? To bray, to cry, to cry out. <laughs> That's how y'all were communicating, man. Through. Hey, and there's history on it that you don't like to teach because you know it's true. Let's go back to the scriptures. Among the bushes they braid, under the nettles they were gathered together like animals, man. They were children of fools. Here's the point. Okay? Pursuing to Psalms 14. To back up Psalm 14, they were children of fools. A fool has said in his heart that there is no God. Yeah, children of base men. Yeah, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man is the third part of man. Okay, you got the sons of God, right? Just the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Right, you got the sons of men, all right, which are the heathen. And you got the son of perdition. Okay, the third part of man, the son of destruction, the base man, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. And he knows it, right? They were viler than the earth. And we see it in their conduct, man. Everything these devils put their hands to, they destroy it. Okay? This is why the air is contaminated. This is why the food's through. Okay, this is why the oceans polluted. This is why there's space junk. Hey, all these things happen under the watch of Esau Edom, the so-called white man. You see, and now he has the audacity to speak this blasphemy, man. Now, this article is from News Punch. Okay. And it's dated November 24th, 2022. And the title reads, Klaus Schwab, this is quote, God is dead. Okay? And the WEF is acquiring divine powers. And where do you think those powers are coming from? The left-hand side. And don't be surprised if that, uh, that collider you know, it has a lot to do with that divine power they're conjuring up. Uh, what's it called? Um, you Aki and Akwath know what I'm talking about. That collider that they um, fired back up recently. I forgot the name of it. Come, if it comes to me, I'll mention it. Um, let's continue on. Right? And, and it reads, God is dead. According to the World Economic Forum, who have also declared that they, they, they say Jesus is fake news and that WEF leaders have acquired divine powers to rule over humanity. You hear the blasphemy in these devils? You see, they, they want to do away. <laughs> Uh, with the Bible, because again, they see this awakening occurring. They understand what's happening. This is not a surprise to them. See, they know about wisdom of Solomon in the fifth chapter, Revelations 11. See? And now they know they got to move. 
They got to they got to do away. With, hey, they got to do away with these Bible with these with this Bible, man. But it's not going to help them. It's not going to work because the family of the word is in the Bible. Amos 8 and 11. So that's part of the whole <laughs> story. So they're not doing anything outside of the uh, blueprint of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. They're doing everything perfect. Even speaking this blasphemy, man. But don't get it twisted. Because Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai hears you. Let's get um let's get this real quick. Let's get this real quick. The book of Ezekiel. The 35th chapter. In the 13th verse, and it reads, Thus with your mouth ye have boasted against me. And we see it in it. We see it. You heard what this devil said? And have multiplied your words against me. I have heard them. So Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai hears you, man. Remember, scripture says the eyes of the Lord are 10, was it 10,000 times brighter than the sun? Let's get that real quick. Um, What's that? Sarah, is that Sarah 23? Let me see. Let's get that real quick through the spirit. I want to say that Sarah. Oh, yeah, Khan. The book of Sirach, the book of Ecclesiastic is also known as the book of Sirach, chapter 23 and verse 19. It reads, such a man only feareth the eyes of men and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret Part. So guess what? Hey, that's not going to go unaccounted for. You see, this article is just another form of evidence, right? That's going to be held against you in the court of law. Okay, it's just, a, it's a, just another part of evidence for the vanilla folder, man. Let me get another one. The book of Psalms, chapter 74. In verse 18, it reads, remember this, that the enemy, and we know pursuing the Psalms 83, the arch enemy of the nation of Israel is Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Remember this, that the enemy has reproached, O Lord, and that the foolish people, and these are the same foolish people pursuing the Job 30 and um, Psalms 14. That the foolish people have blasphemed thy name. And we see it right here. We see it right here. Come on, man. Hey, the devil of the Bible has been pinpointed and targeted. Let's get a little more on this article. And check this out. Within this article, there's videos that have been removed from uh, YouTube. Relating to this article. Why do you think that is? Hey, that's not the only one. Look. See that? Hey, there's more. See that? Let's continue on in this article. Let's get a little more. According to the WEF, right? World Economic Forum. A new one world religion has arrived. And it unites all of humanity in worshiping at the altar of climate science, techno-communism, and eugenics. Right, because again, this fourth, this fourth industrial revolution is going to consist of what? A technocracy. Okay, this man, these devils, God is science. And the laws of the land 
the foundation of the laws of the land is going to be, they're going to be draconian, man. This damn devil said, you will own nothing and be happy. What do you think that means? You're going to be a slave to the government. That's what that means. If you find it hard to believe, Klaus Schwab, WEF, will go this far, you clearly haven't been paying attention to developments in recent times. Klaus Schwab's right-hand man, Yuval Har Noah Harari, we know he's a damn demon, has announced that the WEF has been so successful in its plans that it is acquiring divine powers of creation and destruction. These niggas are out of their mind. This man must be stopped. The blasphemy doesn't stop there. Harari also promises the WEF will turn humans into gods. And how do you think they're going to do that? By linking man with machine. He's gonna try. He, hey, he's gonna turn you people into cyborgs, man. Using that what? That Neuralink, right? And that C hit to bring miracles before you. And a lot of you people are gonna fall for the okie doke. A lot of you people are gonna fall for the okie doke. This man is trying to play God. This man said he promises. Okay. He promises. Hey, don't make promises you can't keep. Hey, this is a vain thing. Man, let me get a, let me get a precept real quick. Uh, what's what what is that? Um I gotta let me just get this. Let me just look it up real quick. I can't remember where it's at. Khan, Psalms 2. The book of Psalms chapter 2 and verse 1 and it reads, Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? This man promising that he's going to make humans into gods, that's a vain thing. Hey, it's empty. It's, 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 it's not in void. You see? It's not going to happen. Let's go back to that article. Well, let's read that again, right? Harari also promises the WEF. He promises the WEF will turn humans into gods, man. Now, if this is not the devil that the Bible speaks of, Denouncing the highest power conceivable and his only begotten son. Who is? Who else is doing this? Where else can you find information on a um on a nation speaking blasphemy uh <laughs> against uh the God of the Bible and his only begotten son, even though they don't got the right names, but just generally speaking, no one else is doing that. <laughs> Hey, 2 Thessalonians, the second chapter, is screaming right now. Let, let's get that. Matter of fact, do I want any more in this article before we go there? The WEF is also increasingly hostile to... Matter of fact, let's come back. Let's get this precept real quick. Um, let's get it. Let's get 2 Thessalonians real quick. Right? Man. Hey, these, these words are jumping off the pages. If not him, who is he? The book of, the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 3 and it reads, Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come. What day? The return of our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Except there come a falling away first. And we fell away from grace. We fell away from our power. Okay? 
we can we discontinue from our heritage because of our disobedience. After 70 AD, okay, we were completely through. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And when you go into that word perdition, it means destruction. Okay, because these devils are being reserved for the day of destruction because they are the sons of perdition. Esau, this is talking about Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. He's been revealed, the man of sin. Okay, the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon, Satan. He has been revealed. And this article right here, it, it, it gives a lot of uh, truth to that. Right? Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God. And we see this in this article. I mean, this is plain. But believe it or not, there's still people that won't see it. Let's read this again from the top. Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is God. Or that is worship. So that he, as God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. And this man said he promises that he will make men gods. He made, hey, that's a promise, man. According to Yuval Harari. Hey, let's see if he can keep it. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things? And now, and now ye know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. And it's clear, it is plain that he's being revealed in this time right here. And his, his actions, right? Uh, you know, his, his mindset, you know, the way this man's moving around the earth gives credence to that. For the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. Only he who now letteth will let. And who's that? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right? He's letting this man move around and wiggle around the earth doing all this wickedness, right? Until he be taken out of the way. See, there's a set time where this man's going to be removed and shaken out the earth. Pursuing to the book of Job. There's a time, there's a date, there's a moment, there's a month, there's a minute, there's a second where this man's going to be taken out the way. Let's continue on. And then shall that wicked be revealed when who, so like at whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. And who is the Lord's mouthpiece? Pursuing the Hebrews 1. Hosea 12. Amos 3 and 7. The servants. The prophets. And shall destroy. With the brightness. Of his coming. Right. When Yahweh Shai comes through. And not meeting you. He's not going to meet you as a man. But it starts with uh, the men of the Lord pretty much <laughs> telling you in your face, right? Declaring your way to your face, man. And we can prove that in the book of, uh, that's Job. Job, the 21st chapter. And I'm going to start at... Um, I'll start at the 29th verse. The book of Job chapter 21 and verse 29 and reads, Have ye not asked them that go by the way? Right. <laughs> and who goes by the way? The men of the Lord. Right. On the highways and byways and the chief place of concourse. And do ye not know their tokens? That the wicked. And we know pursuing the Malachi, the first chapter. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man is the wicked. Job 9 and 24 as well. We brought that out. 
right? That the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction, which is what? The day of doom. The day those missiles fly, man. They shall be brought forth to the day of wrath. And Yahweh Shai is going to crack these clouds on the day of wrath, okay? With the host of heaven with him. He's going to be with thousands upon thousands upon thousands of chariots, man. Hey, hey, they're not going to be coming for a light show. This time around, they're going to be zapping everything, moving, okay, with that concentrated heat that they shoot. And they're going to be delivering the elect at the same damn time. Lord willing, we're part of that precious number. Here's the point. Who shall declare his way to his face? The servants, the prophets, man. You see? The servants, the prophets. And who shall repay him what he has done? Yahweh Shah is going to come see you, people, man. Yahweh Shah is going to come see you. And after Yahweh Shai sees you, right, pursuing the Isaiah, the 63rd chapter, you're going to fall into the hands of Yasha Allah, pursuing to Ezekiel, the 25th chapter. And you are going to know the Lord's vengeance, man. You're going to be repaid for what you have done. You are going to repay, you're going to, but hey, thus says the Bible. Thus says the Bible. Let's go back to the article. Let's get a little more. The WEF is also increasing hostile, Salakia. The WEF is also increasingly hostile to Christianity and major religions. If you read between the lines just a little, it's clear the WEF is consciously Attempting to supplant Yahweh Shai. And that's not even realistic. How are you going to supplant Yahweh Shai? I know they're saying Jesus, but we know what they're doing. That's not even realistic. Yahweh Shai is supplanting you demons, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has you demons in a trick bag. You know? But they definitely are hostile towards Christianity and major religion because that's not what they're dealing with no more going into this fourth industrial revolution. Again, it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be a technocracy. Technology is gonna be ruling their uh fourth industrial revolution. You heard Yuval Harabi talk about how uh there's no God in the clouds and uh, they can make God as mad as they want, they can create rain, they don't gotta worry about a famine. This man's talking crazy. But how much more the men of the Lord and the highways and byways <laughs> saying that this divine power is going to come visit these devils? How do you think they feel about that? You know, this is why, you know, in the times to come, you know, there's going to be <laughs> a lot of persecution coming. Because they're going to want to, they want to stop this word from going out. They want to stop it in its tracks. Matter of fact, let's get this. I think that's all I want in this article, too. Um, I'll leave it in the description box for you, Akiyam and Akwathiam, to read further into it. That's pretty much all I wanted. But what I do want to get, because um, it, it, it makes sense. Of course, they're increasingly hostile to Christianity and major religions. Right? Let's get this real quick. That's biblical, too. <laughs> hey, the Bible, undefeated. The two-edged sword of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is undefeated. The book of Second Exodus. The book of Second Exodus, the 16th chapter. And I'm gonna start at the 68th verse, and it reads the book of Second Exodus. Chapter 16 and verse 68, and it reads, For behold, 
the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. Right. Hey, Jacob's trouble. When Jacob's trouble pops off, man, these UN troops come storming in. Hey, they're going to be like madmen, man. What are they going to do? And they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols, right? You're going to be offered that karagma. These FEMA camps are going to be wide open, okay? Hey, some of the Akiyam and Akwaf are going to get caught up in that. But guess what? The spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to be dealing on a high level at this time, I believe. I believe wholeheartedly. Divine intervention is going to kick in. Spiritual powers are going to be activated. Isaiah 59 and 19 is going to be activated. You see, but it's going to get hectic though. We're going to have to be meditating on these precepts. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision, right? You're going to be a laughing stock. You individuals that choose to get this uh, karagma, this grain of rice, the, the micro CHIP, the MOTB. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. You still going to be through. Hey, you're going to get that grievous sore and you're going to die from cancer, man. Pursuing the revelation. What's that? Is that, uh, I believe, I, I want to say that Revelation is the 16th chapter. Correct me if I'm wrong. Forgive me if I'm not correct on that. But I believe it's Revelation 16. You're going to get that grievous sore. You're going to be out of there. Hey, you're going to die with a chip in you, man. For there should be in every place and in, in, in the next city. And here's the point. These next few verses. A great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. And the insurrection goes into an uprising. You see that? Against who? Those that fear the Lord, man. Hey, this includes you wacky tacky Christians, man. Even though you ain't calling on the right name. <laughs> you you going to be finished. They should be like madmen, sparing none, you see? Because these UN troops, man, a lot of these niggas, hey, hey, if not all of them, they're going to be hyped up on some stuff, man. Hey, they're going to be cyborgs, man. Hey, it's going to be horrific out here, man. We're going to truly need Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to intervene on our behalf. Lord willing, we're part of the elect. They should be like madmen, sparing none. But still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord, you see? They're going to come, Akiyam and Akwa, and we're going to be locked into Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And hey, there's more with us than be with them. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen. See, so we have to go through this straight gate. This is a straight gate. Which a straight gate is what? A position of difficulty. Pursuing the second Ezra is the seventh chapter. It's a necessity. It's the only way into the kingdom of heaven. We have to go through this straight gate. There's no way around it because it's going to, hey, let's continue reading. Then shall they be known who are my chosen. This is going to determine who the chosen are, man. What scripture say? Strive for the truth until death and the Lord shall fight for thee. Some of us are going to have to strive for the truth until death, man. It's just part, it's, it's part of our, some of our lots. Lord willing, we can endure these things. Lord willing, we're part of the elect. And they shall be tried as the gold and the fire, man. And what is fire? A purifier. And that fire is going to get the impurities out of us, man. 
Hey, we got to be battle tested. We got to be counted worthy. Those that take part of that first resurrection, hey, what scripture say? Blessed and holy are they that take part in the first resurrection, man. Hey, you cut from a different cloth, man, if you part of that first resurrection. Lord willing, we're part of that precious number, man. Lord willing, because it's going to get dirty out here in a minute. These damn devils are going to persecute us and they're going to be coming in with everything they got. Okay, they're going to be coming in with their cyborgs, their robots, all of them, man. Everything, everything they got, man. They're super soldiers. Matter of fact, let me get this real quick. I got another little article, right? I actually got this from the beloved brother on the uh, on the chat. The brother in the camp, the beloved brother Banayam. Right? Check this out, right? This is from Los Angeles Times. Right? And the title reads, San Francisco supervisors vote to allow police to deploy robots that kill. And here it is. You got Jake playing around, getting ready for Christmas. About to offer up their child to Molek, man. About the about the warship Nimrod, man. But here it is, these damn devils voted to allow police to deploy robots that kill in San Francisco. And you know this thing's gonna gradually make its way across the states. Let's read into this article a little bit. All right, and it reads now this is dated November 30th. Uh this is fresh off the press, right? 2022. This thing is steaming it's literally today, right? Supervisors in San Francisco voted Tuesday to grant city police the power to use potentially lethal remote controlled robots in emergency situations following an emotionally charged debate that reflected divisions on the politically liberal board over support for law enforcement. So now... They're going to be moving in on your ass with remote-controlled robots, man. And you know they can see in the dark. And you know they got them goggles on them that can see through walls. All that. Let's get a little more. The vote was 8-3 to three, with the majority agreeing to grant police the option despite strong objections from several liberties and police oversight groups. Opponents said the authority would lead to the further militarization of a police force already too aggressive with poor and minority communities. Who are the poor and minority communities? Us so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. See, these devils, they want to get at you, Jake. And you so busy playing. Hey, that's on you. Supervisor Connie Chan, a member of the committee that forwarded the proposal to the full board, said she understood concerns over use of force, but that according to state law, we are required to approve the use of these equipments. See, hey, these unrighteous decrees. See, they're moving into a whole new way of... uh. Law enforcement. It's going to get draconian out here, man. When they shut these, these cities down, when they, when they we go under another shutdown, because you know another lockdown's coming, right? They're talking about they found the zombie, uh, uh, VI, R-U-S, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> out there in Russia somewhere, they're blaming it on Russia. Hey, it's coming. Well, you think they're going to have patrol in the streets? Let's continue on. So here we are, and it's definitely not an easy discussion. The San Francisco Police Department said it does not have pre-armed robots and has no plans to arm robots with guns. Yeah, right. We've already seen Boston Dynamics equip. Uh, Boston Dynamics has a whole... um. Uh, uh, Pretty much a uh, firing range, man. A whole practice range of these robots doing flips, 
running up walls, shooting the right subject, uh, suspect. What are these people talking about? He, they're lying in this article because we've seen it already. There's already robots armed to kill. They're just trying to water it down. Being a slippery serpent that they are. Right? Let's continue on. But the department could deploy robots equipped with explosive charges to contact, incapacitate. What's that mean? You know what that means. If you don't, let's just get the word real quick. Put you down, all the way down. That's what that word, that's what incapacitate means. But they just said they weren't going to arm them. See how they lie? Okay. Incapacitate. Prevent from functioning in a normal way. Disabled. Debilitated. Debil but debilitated, right? Indisposed, unfit, immobilized, paralyzed, out of action. You see? Out of commission. See, Esau thinks he's slick with his words. You see? Put you down. All the way down. Okay? These things are gonna have explosives on them, man. Huh? Let's go back to let's go back. The San, Francisco, the San Francisco Police Department said it does not have pre-armed robots and has no plans to arm robots with guns. But the department could deploy robots equipped with explosive charges to contact, incapacitate, or disorient a violent armed or dangerous suspect when lives are at stake. Police spokesperson Allison Maxey said in a statement. And we know we can't trust a damn thing these people are saying. But what we can put our money on is that this is going directly into Jacob's trouble, man. And it's going to be part of Jacob's trouble. Hey, this is going to be a time that we've never seen, just like it says in Daniel. Because this man has technology now. See, knowledge has increased. You see, through this man's technology, he's going to be able to bring all forms of wickedness to pass. And if you ain't got Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, your ass is grass, man. Right, let's get this. The book of Daniel, chapter 12, and verse 1, and it reads, And at that time shall Michael stand up. Who's Michael? Michael's the archangel, right? The, the, the first in command of the host of heaven, man. And, and when Michael comes through, he's only coming for smoke. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of the people. What people? That remnant, that elect, okay, of the nation of Israel, which consists of us so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and speckled birds. And there shall be a time of trouble. What time of trouble? Jacob's trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time <laughs> it's going to be bad out here and we are going to absolutely positively need Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and at that time thy people Shall be delivered. Notice how always when it comes to the straight gate, following that is deliverance. That's beautiful. Everyone that shall be found written in the book, right? What book? The book of life. Okay, the elect has been has been uh <laughs> preordained, man. This is all predestination. Okay, since the foundation of the earth. All right, the elect has been uh, chosen, man. We just hope we're part of that precious number. We just hope we're part of this, that precious number because this damn devil is coming. 
And he's gunning for those that fear the Lord, like we read in 2 Andrew 16. And not just anyone that fears the Lord, he's really gunning for those that got that testimony. Pursuing the revelations. Let's get there. Let's close out here if the Spirit allows. I made the, you know, the points made through the Spirit. The book of Revelations, chapter 12. In verse 17, and it reads, And the dragon was wroth with the woman, right? The dragon. Who? What dragon? Hey, that serpent from the garden, right? That turned into a damn dragon. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. You see? And the woman's who? Our so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Remember, the Lord likened us to a, likened Jerusalem to a calmly and delicate woman. Remember, Jerusalem's a people before it's a place. You see? And went to make war with the remnant of her seed. That same remnant, okay, spoken of in Isaiah, the 10th chapter, that will no longer lean upon him that smote us. Okay, that remnant is going to separate themselves from the ways of Babylon. And wherever they're being held captive, they're going to return back to the obedience of the scriptures in the name of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And joining yourself to your power makes you an enemy of the state, man. Why? Because we testify the works of this world being evil. And it's being ran by evil. So therefore, you make yourself a prey. But guess what? We got Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And he's going to do what he says. We know that Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, he puts his word over his name, man. Huh? Hey, that's heavy. So we're going to expect Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai to help us in the time of trouble, one way or another. This is why it's important to know the will of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So you can know, to what, to, you can know what to expect. You know, if you have to be a mortar, take it cheerfully. Understanding that you're going to be the first to be raised up. Pursuing the first Thessalonians, the fourth chapter and the 16th verse. And we got to meditate on these things. I speak, you know, I speak, you know, on behalf of my, I speak to myself first and foremost, you know. We have to meditate on these things. Continuing on. And went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of Yahweh and have the testimony of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. What's the testimony? The evidence. Okay? And those of us that have the evidence, we can, we're testifying. Against this damn devil. He wants to get rid of the star witnesses, man. But it's not going to be a walk in the park. Because Yahweh Bashim al Shai is going to protect his elect. Lord willing, we're part of that precious number. See, because after that chosen is known, you see, hey, they're going to be guided through the, the fire, man. And hey, we're not going to be alone. And the phone chimed in. Just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, man. They, hey, they weren't in that fight, that furnace alone, man. Hey, who was with them? Yahweh Shai. And we know that through the spirit. <laughs> and he's going to be with us. Lord willing, we're part of that precious number. When all hell breaks loose, man. Up until the final moment. With whatever lot we may have to fulfill. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to be with us. Let's close out here. I must be allowed to go back to 2nd Ezra, the 16th chapter. Let's close out here and continue reading down from where we were at. Because it goes into that. The book of 2nd Ezra, we'll close out here. Um, Where was I at? Let's see, Salakia, bear with me. Here we go. I'm going to continue. I'm going to read uh, verse 73 again. The book of 2nd Ezra chapter 16 and verse 73. And it reads, Then shall they be known who are my chosen 
and they shall be tried as the gold and the fire. Here, O ye my beloved, right, the house of David, the house of Dawada, right, the elect, saith the Lord, Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. See? And we got to meditate on that. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt. Don't doubt. Right? For Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, is your guide. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwathiam were edified. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Kal Halaliam La Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kwedash. Shalom.